Hello there. Today we are going to check out how I did these animations about dyslexia in Calvary. Big shout out to everyone that has dyslexia. You all are real champions. Series by Hulk 79. So the first thing that I need to tell you is like we are going to be using Spring which is like an effect that's only available uh, in the professional version of Cavalry. And I'm going to tell you how this came, came out. Uh, I was just dealing or messing around with, with some effects and I applied the, the spring effect here uh, to a type in uh, animation. And I just wanted to give it like this kind of springy effect. And I was changing the parameters here and <laughs> uh, this came to it making this kind of flying away strange behavior and I I remembered a, a, a documentary that I was watching the other day about dyslexia and I was like okay this is I can make a series about uh, yeah uh, how how could it feel to suffer dyslexia uh, so again, big shout out to all of you suffering dyslexia uh, and let's dive into it. So I have a text here, as usual, uh, set in Noyehas Grotesque and we are going to create a type in animation that's achieved here within the string manipulators. We need to add one and then if we click twice on the string manipulator we need to change it from shuffle string into resize string okay then be sure that you are at the beginning with the playhead and i'm going to create a keyframe here at zero percent and at frame let's say yeah 40 for example you know that <coughs> after creating it you can we you can change the length of the animation but here it's co it is going to be at 100 so that's cool also i'm going to hit n so that the preview area is kind of uh, more constrained and yeah we have this animation which is cool i'm going to make it slower let's check it out again by hitting the spacebar i think that's cool you also can like for example imagine that you want to stop it here okay you can create a keyframe there you can move that that keyframe and copy and paste that one and this part of the animation here is going to be st st static okay because it's the same parameter so that's also another kind of trick when you are creating type in animations but yeah let's go straight into the spring uh, effect that it's like the secret sauce here and to use that you need to have the professional version of cavalry again and uh, you need to activate that uh, because it is an experimental feature and you need to go and check enable experimental features in preferences so let's do that so here in edit preferences on the top part in general in the general tab you have like the so experimental features uh, it comes unchecked so you need to just check it uh, and then you need to restart cavalry and you maybe you are wondering well where should i add that spring so in the text layer parameters or controls on the left in the formers if you search for the spring uh, it should be there okay so we add it and the way it works if we double click it to access to uh, the controls or the settings is like by default it's a bit crazy let's say <laughs> uh, so the first the main control is the strength so let's say that we decrease it to 10% and then you have the other parameters here which in a way this is the typical effect where 
kind of the when you change one parameter it's kind of affecting the other so it's kind of a combination of those something that i found is like if you change the speed limit to a um, negative value let's say minus 15 it starts making this kind of weird effects then the strength i think it was like also going negative here so it's kind of starting to fly away okay so it's no more a spring but it is this kind of floaty text here and when when i came to to, to this point is where i i i had the idea of creating the dyslexic uh, or dyslexia a series of animations also let's let's go directly into the specific parameters because this is a lot of back and forth to to get to the to something specific so for example here in this one the parameters were strength minus 3% damping 0,04 and the mass 2 and the speed limit it was minus 91 this one here that was like a little bit like trembling uh, the parameters were minus 3% in strength in damping it was minus 0, 0,03 that's different uh, the mass was 2 also and the speed the speed limit was minus 97 then this this one was not uh, leaning into the spring but more into a noise that was applied here in the deformers okay so yeah also like the spring was there but mainly uh, this kind of dreamy effect was because of the noise was uh, in the deformers and the fourth uh, iteration this is super interesting and it was like after creating all those animations i i put all in a forge dynamics and the the fun thing or the fun aspect of this is that if you have an animation of something that's being written with the resize string and you then apply a force dynamics it's kind of like when the text or the letters are coming in or appearing uh, they come into effect in the, in, the, in the middle of this dynamics animation or simulation uh, so it is super super interesting so yeah that was that so you need to to mess around with things to really figure out uh, you know the best the best stuff so yeah uh, please remember that i have this buy me a coffee webpage where you can contribute i would appreciate it a lot you have the link in the description here so thanks a lot for watching it and see you in the next one Kinetic Type Series by Hulk 79.